Hey, this is Pixel. Today I am taking a look at Street Racer Underground. So this is a game that I intended to do an entire big, high quality review for. But then as I laid down all the audio, as I laid down all the gameplay footage, I realized this game's only got one level and the footage just looped and looped and looped. So it makes way more sense that I sit and do this one live and explain um, all of the mechanics here and my thoughts about the game in more of a live, live way. So let's jump into, uh, let's see if I can get out of this. Let's take my first car, this red one here. And we'll jump into the game and I'll show you the mechanics of it. So there's two different modes. You have endless mode and race. Endless mode is kind of the mode they really push you towards. So we'll jump into that one first. This game is being pitched as kind of an arcade racer. Obviously with the logo here, they're kind of doing the need for speed underground thing. The difference is, is that you don't really race in this game. You get five lanes. Look at this, all five lanes. And the idea here, you don't have a gas pedal. You just drive. The idea is to near miss these cars and it builds up nitro. And then as your nitro builds up, eventually if you can do it fast enough. You'll be able to go faster. And like any endless mode, there we go. Like any endless mode, the idea is just to go as far as you can. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see a distance meter. Uh, it, about five or 6,000 is as far as I've gotten. You just saw me cross a little red checkpoint in the upper right hand corner. You'll see a clock ticking down. 20 seconds. That'll refresh every time that I hit one of those red areas. So the point of this game is just to make as much money as you can, buy new cars, upgrade those cars, and just kind of try to get everything. The unfortunate problem with this game, and let's just talk about my mentality of why I'm even looking at this game, is because the marketing for this game really pitches it as a console arcade racer and the screenshots are way better than what this game looks like. Like, for instance, look at my car. There's no reflection at all. That is just a super ugly texture. The majority of the people that I think are gonna end up finding this video are going to be people that are on console stores, on Switch, on Xbox, on PlayStation, and they're like, hey, is this game any good? I wanna take a look, the, the screenshots look great. Unfortunately for those people that are coming here that are coming from those console stores, <laughs> That was awesome. I got stuck in that car. The answer is no. This is not a good game on those platforms. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to retry real quick and just keep yammering here for a second. This game is a mobile game. This game was designed as a mobile game. I know mobile games pretty well. I My channel here used to be exclusively mobile games for like the first two years of it. Um, before my big long hiatus and now I look at indie games but this has been designed as a mobile game you can tell that essentially the left and right screen left and right hand sides of the screen were what would make you go left and right here and then there will be a little touch button there for your nitro and you've got a controller on a phone they decided they were gonna slap it on all of the consoles for whatever reason but it doesn't play well on a console I could see myself playing this on a phone um, I'm not sure if I've said this yet but Every time I've picked up this game, and I've played for about three hours, I've enjoyed this game for about 20 or 30 minutes, and then I get horrifyingly bored out of this game. And that's because, again, this has been designed for mobile. It's been designed for you to pick it up, play it for 20 or 30 minutes, put it down, come back to it later, grind a little bit more, get a few more cars, get a few more customizations. And I think in that context, this is a pretty decent game. So if you're coming here from iOS or Android, and you're looking for a good little arcade racer with some simple controls that plays okay there's not a lot of bugs in this the the purchases in here um for upgrading your car are are pretty decent it's a kind of a cool little uh loop to get you to keep playing it's a good game so on those platforms hey if you, this looks great to you then go for it it plays a lot like temple run it's a perfectly fine temple run clone but if you're coming here from Switch, from PS4, from Xbox, from PC, and you're looking for a game that's an arcade racer, this one cannot not recommend it enough. It's just not a really great game. So let's go ahead and jump real quick into, I gotta go back to the garage to go back into races. Let's go into the racing mode so you can see what that looks like, because it does look a little bit different. Let's, this time, we'll go ahead and take my other car. You can see, let's go, let's tab through the cars real quick here in the upgrades, just kind of show you what's, what's available. Here we go. So there's $25,000, $30,000. Of course, nothing's got names. That's fine. You don't need names. It goes up pretty high. Real high-end looking cars there. 
but you can see. Yeah, I can't use those. Interesting thing about the UI here, if you've tabbed into a car that you can't buy and don't own, now I have to tab all the way back through the cars, back to one I do own, if I'd like to get out of this interface. Okay, now that I'm here, I can push down and go to play again. A very weird kind of glitchy thing about the UI that, it's just a design mechanic that I, I wouldn't have used. Anyways, let's go into race. You can see how races work. So there's four different races. I assume that one unlocks, the next one unlocks once I've beat the first one, but I've been playing for a while and haven't even beat the first one yet. There's an entry fee on these ones, but it pays itself back. You get a little bit more money for racing the races than you do for Endless with a comparable car. So it ends up about, about the same. The race might be a little bit different. Oh, that was funny. It was all purple and green. All right, so here we go. You can see I have four different opponents here. And one of them is really, really fast, and that's just how racing works. So if I beat him, I unlock a new race. I don't think that's going to happen. Though I have to say, I'm doing much better against him than I usually do. My car's a little better this time. Okay, I might have a chance to actually beat this guy. So the real difference here is, is that there's a finish line for this one, and there's opponents. On Endless, there's really not really opponents, there's just the cars around you. What else can I say here? Yeah, I really, the, the biggest disappointment here, and usually I have a, a thing where I don't like to play a game, a game that I'm truly disappointed by, and just get on here and show the game off and rag on the game, and just tell you how much I thought the game was a dumpster fire and how much I didn't like it. This game is a little bit of a dumpster fire as far as the, the console, ...ness of it. On mobile, it's not. On mobile, it's a perfectly fine game. I wouldn't call it a great game. I would say, it's fine. If you like this, then go for it. That's great. On console, don't play it. It's not good. Um, generally, I wouldn't say that, but this one I felt was a little alluring in its marketing, and I felt like a video was worth it just simply to kind of warn people that are coming from console and expecting one thing and then will get something else. You, you should know that this is this is not what it's kind of marketed to be. If you look at the trailer of the game, the video trailer of the game, the video trailer is is pretty spot on for for what you're gonna get. And and I was kind of a little overly optimistic when I saw the trailer, hoping that maybe it was gonna be a little bit better than than what that showed, and maybe they, just, they happened to grab some bad gameplay footage or something. That's not the case. It, it's nothing like the screenshots that they give, the, the little images. It's it's very much uh, a pretty shallow game with not great controls that, that's not super great. So regardless of price on this one, I'm going to go ahead and say not recommend this one, but um, keep on looking out there. If you want to play it on mobile, play it on mobile. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little while here. If you haven't subscribed, take a look at some of the other videos on my channel. I have a lot of reviews up, a lot of them that are a lot more serious than this one. This one ended up being live just because of the, the nature of this game really necessitated that. If you like those, then consider subscribing. Until next time, this has been Pixel.